Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Now this video is going to be very sweet. Why? Because we're about to explore the bees. Yay! Finally we reached the moment when I'm going to unlock the bees at one of my farms. Now currently I need to bow. Let's have a look over here. So you can see we're going to get honey extractor, honeybee, potato bread, shepherd pie. We've got nectar bush, beehive tree, a lot of things are coming. Uh, honeybees or bees, whatever you want to call it, but I prefer to call them bees or I don't call them honeybees though. And we've got chocolate ice cream and we've got honeycomb, honey, one diamond in three fields. And we're going to unlock the bees, which is a very special thing and I'm actually very excited. Um, now the bees are going to cost you a lot of coins and so many things unlock at level 39. I've totally forgotten. It's been a while since I was on level 39. So what we have here are some tomatoes. Before I start the video, I want to show you guys something. Let's go to the topper of this game, who's Nudie. She's also called as a queen of heyday. She's the highest level player in the whole world. I mean, she's amazing. Now, let's have a look at the decorations that we just got today in the diamond packages over here. Um, so, you got this beautiful decoration here that I wanted to show you guys. And then you got this, which I might buy. I'm not sure right now. And these are the fences that I was talking about. Look at that. Look at the design that she's created. It looks so perfect. It looks so beautiful. I mean, I think she has a farm full of decorations. Man, she spent a lot of money on the game. Look at the Christmas decorations that she has. But just, how, oh, does she need help? Oh, can I do that? Someone has already helped her. That's cool. So you can see, these are the decorations that we've got. You got this, these flowers, and these cool fences. And now my favorite one is this one. I love this so much. It looks very pretty. Right, let's get back to my farm and start the work. All right, we have a boat here. Uh, can I do this boat? I'm not sure. We've got pits. So let's start filling this. We're about to level up soon. Only need about 400. Um, yeah, let's do this. We're going to open the mystery box, and we cannot... I haven't been to the valley and I don't know what's going on in the valley. Um, yeah, so 68 chickens over 100. Hmm, I don't know what I'm going to purchase. I'm not going to purchase anything. I'm just not going to do anything in the valley. My pets are sleeping. I need to wake them up. Come on, y'all. Just wake up. And all right, there I go. Oh, oh, oh. I wasn't going to trash that. that. That was my mistake. So I'm... Um, oh, and we finally level up. There we go. So, yay, level up, you guys. So, I'm just going to continue. We've got a lot of things. One diamond, sweet. What is that? All right, good news. You can now buy bees and start producing sweet honey. Let's do it. All right, let's do that. Start by buying a beehive tree. All right, so I'm just going to go in there. And we're going to buy the beehive tree. Where I'm going to place it over here. Oh, look at the small piece of tree. Now, buy a honeybee. Okay, so we're going to go to the animal section and we're going to buy a bee. So I can get three bees and they're going to cost me 1,500 coins each, which is kind of expensive. Wait, what does it say? Place it in the beehive. Oh, so we're supposed to place it in the beehive. Look at that. Look at the sweet honey. Oh, 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 oh. Don't, don't run. All right, so we're just going to put it in the beehive. There we go. That's amazing. Just look at that bee chilling around, sitting, um... She's being so reckless, like she doesn't care about anything. We're going to buy her colleagues so that they can start working together. All right, they're now a couple. So we've got two honeybees. And finally, the time is for the third honeybee as well. They're, oh, and we've achieved a new achievement, all buzz. I totally forgot about that. We just have three bees. All right, there you go. One diamond and 100 XP, which is brilliant. All right, so... Bees need nectar. Buy a nectar bush to get them going. All right, where's a nectar bush? All right, so 120 for one nectar bush is there. There you go. I'm just going to put one, and let's see what happens. Now, just wait for a while as bees collect the nectar. All right. Oh, I look at my chicken. No, not chicken. Look at my dog. He's smelling around, maybe smelling some nectar, sweet nectar and bees. All right, so I'm just going to wait. So when you guys buy a nectar bush, when you guys get a nectar bush from the shop, all right, excellent. Buy more bees and nectar bushes to boost the production. Remember to build the honey extractor to get the sweet honey as well. All right, cool. I can get that. Now, when you guys get a new nectar bush, you've got total 250 drops of nectar in it, which the bees use. And the bees um, take this nectar over to this beehive. They're going to need 
100 nectars in total to produce one honeycomb. Or you can spend three diamonds. So let's speed it up. There we go. Now we can harvest a honeycomb. There we go. 8 XP for one honeycomb. And my bees are still working. Now we're going to get the honey extractor as well. Ooh. A lot of machines I haven't purchased it. Oh my god. So we're going to get this beautiful honey extractor. Which I'm going to place it right here because I like it. Oh, Mr. Weaker, get aside. There we go. All right. Gonna take one day to unlock this honey extractor. That is cool. We'll just put that aside. And my bees are doing work. Look at that. They've already got 247. And three are in there. Now, it all depends on the work. Now, bees take different times to transfer the nectar from the nectar bush to the beehive tree. For example, if you're just gonna place the site, um, like, let's do an experiment. So I'm just going to put them here, and you will notice that the time is going to get increased. So you will see the bees are just going around your farm. They're flying. They're doing their work. It's really good to see them, right? I'm just going to see something. All right. So, okay. Hey, look at that. They're smiling. They're doing their work over here. And that's going to take some time. Oh, also, we can check the mastery of the beehive tree. So... One star for 193 diamonds. So when you get the first star, you will get two beehives. When you get the three stars, you're going to get um, three beehives. And finally, when you're going to get your tree fully mastered, you will have four beehives. Now, the cost of bees also changes. When you get the second beehive, the cost of bees is going to be almost 2,000. So you have to collect 4,000 nectar to get the first star which means you have two beehives and that's going to be two thousand for each honeycomb and the next star you got at forty thousand drops of next star and then you're going to get other three more bees which are going to cost you two thousand five hundred points each and then finally when you fully master it you're going to need more bees which are going to cost you three thousand coins each which is going to be a long time because i remember i fully mastered my beehive tree at level 68. Yeah, I remember that. So, um, look at that. Look at that work the bees are doing. They're just collecting the nectar. You can also purchase more. The amount is not going to increase. It's simple art. Just look at that. Just have a look at those. Bees have nectar drops in their hands and they're flying over. Just, just look at that community. Oh, they're doing sweet work. All right, I think they're just going to transfer over there. So I want to tell you guys something here for a lot of you don't know. The distance doesn't matter when you're offline, but when you're playing the game, the distance does matter. For example, you can see the, the bees are flying around, so they have to travel a long distance from here to get the nectar bush. But what happens if you place the nectar bush, which I usually do, because of course I want things to do fast, and so you can see the bees will um, won't take a lot of time and they can put the nectar in there. Now, what did I unlock any product? So we unlocked some honey. Wait, wait, wait. My shop is full of oh, a lot of stuff I've sold. I've totally forgotten. Wait, uh, where's my barn? Where's my barn? Where's my barn? We've unlocked something over here. Ours, right, so we got this potato bread. We've got this honey, which is gonna take 20 minutes. Sweet. All right, I really like the animation of the bees. I think it's really sweet. One of my one of the favorite things in the game. Alright guys, now we're here, you can see the beehive tree has grown along, and it has three beehives now, so I'm just going to be collecting them. If you go over to the mastery, I need about 400,000, and I'm to 250, to 25,000, um, 100,000 nectar, so it's going to be a long time, I guess. So I've got two stars, uh, 6.55 for the next star, which I'm not going to do. And here you can see my honey extractor that I unlocked over there. It has two stars, 367 over 450 for the next one, which is gonna, uh, which is gonna be very grateful because I'm gonna be able to produce 15% faster. So it makes two products, if I can show you guys. The honey takes about 20 minutes and it takes two honeycombs. I'm just gonna put one. And the beeswax take about three honeycombs and it takes 45 minutes so you unlock honey at level 39 and beef vax at level 38 so between those nine levels you can make a lot of honey now honey is going to get used in a lot of things in the game for example if i go over here to the cake oven where's my cake oven where's my cake oven oh there's my cake oven so you can see over here we've got this amazing um honey apple cake it's going to need two honeys two apples two wheat and two uh what are these uh eggs 
Can I check the price? Let me have a look. Over here, I don't think I have anything to check the price. Yeah, I've got one bees wax. I don't have any honey. So one bees wax for two thirty four, and the bees wax you can make candles with. Candles are very important to have in the game. The bees wax and honey is very important, so I don't recommend selling them. You can store them. You can get them. So you can see. When a nectar bush gets dead, it looks just like this. It looks like white flowers, which can also be used by so many. Like a lot of players in Haiti community uses this dead nectar bushes to create something really cool. And I think I used to do that too, but now I don't because um, I prefer to use fences. So I have purchased over here. You can see I've got now a total of nine bees that are working together. And let's have a look. Let's see. Okay, they look so good. Working together, teamwork makes the dream work, yay! And I finally get into the beehive and they fly over. So here is my fully mastered beehive tree having 12 honeybees and 4 beehives. So I'm going to be collecting them already you can see it's fully mastered. Okay, so yeah. Over here, I can do this. So there I go, my sweet honeycombs. Now the honey is very important and also the honeycombs. So you can see I'm collecting some honey. One jar of honey gives you 19 XP. Uh, fully mastered honey extractor as well. All the slots are open and I keep in production. So you can see 17 minutes for honey and I've got enough of the honeycombs. Now let's have a look at the price of honeycombs. 10 honeycombs go for 6 84 coins, which is cool, but of course you're not going to sell them because they're very important to be sold. Okay, so you can see over here, I'm just going to put some honey. Okay, now I prefer to make a lot of honey rather than beeswaxes because the use of honey in the game is more important. So you're going to need total 14 jars of honey to make all the products in the game. Uh, I can put so many bees back in the game. Now I'm going to give you guys a tip, tip over here. Whenever you get third or maybe second star on your honey tree, place it somewhere where you can see it easily on your farm. Like whatever happens, sometimes when I place my beehive tree over here at the end of my farm, I kind of forget to collect the honeycombs. Like what I do is usually that even if I'm not making anything, for example, if not making any honey, I'm not making any beeswax, I still collect all the honeycombs so that they can be used later. Because when I do events, board events, truck events, they take all my inventory away real quick. So I'm of course going to be needing a lot of items. Like I'm going to be needing honey popcorn. You see, I need stew honey. Then we have lobster skewer, honey toast, salads, and ice creams. All of the things are going to need honey. So it's very important to have a good amount of honey in the game. So that's what I do. Because usually I forget that I have to like them. But if you have them in the front of your eye, like at my farm, you see I have placed the beehive tree in the front. So whenever I open the game, my first look is going to go to my beehive tree. So I will simply collect them and I will start making things over here. You can see. All right, so we're here at my... Now you can see that is a very, very powerful team of honeybees all doing their work. All right, so I'm about to help one of my friends, Neil, he need X's. So uh, let me see if he's here. Okay. 20, 30, 40. I get a lot of um, X's and I don't even need them. 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 10, and there we go. I think it's got enough. Um, he needed a few to open the, uh, to cut, open some space so, to cut all those products. And there we go. Thank you to the nail for the boat. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you the beeswax now. Um, the use of beeswax isn't that much in the game. Like you can see only four candles we have. I'm hoping to get more candles. I'm also hoping to get something else with the bees, like something that is related to the bees, like perfumes, maybe some kind of soaps. 
I don't know. So you can make strawberry candle, raspberry candle, lemon candle, and the floral candle. Which is only going to need one beeswax, but I said, but as I said that you're going to need more honey. So honey is actually important for 